Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. I can clearly see here that your energy, you're naturally attracted to your card that represents the Six of Pentacles. And with the Six of Pentacles, so what I'm picking up is that people see that you are down to earth, you know, you're very practical. And also you are loyal and sometimes loyal to a fault, meaning that you will give others chances that they don't deserve. You are generous as well and will be so generous to people that do not deserve your generosity as well. So that's something I am picking up because specifically here with the Six of Pentacles, that Pentacles energy um, is saying also that um, you will give lots of help. You will give the shirt off your back. You are there when others do need you. Also, the Pentacle energy does rule over those Earth zodiac signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in the top placements of your birth chart or the birth chart of the people that do recognize this Six of Pentacles energy in you. Sun, the moon, the rising signs, the seventh house of relationships or the planet Venus. So let's get more specifics. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? And you have here environment. Oh my goodness. I love that the environment card does show up immediately following the six of pentacles choice. And with you having the environment here, this is earth. So it's in great correlation with the six of pentacles. So that's a nice confirmation just starting out here in your reading. Thank you, spirit. I do love this about um, you. So with the environment, so what people do pick up about you is that um, you are very well aware, socially aware about like what's going on around you. Okay. You may not think you are picking up everything. You can pick up others' energy as well. And you just dismiss it as maybe, uh, maybe I didn't really, you know, see them like that or are they really like that but you're very intuitive as well so people can see that you're intuitive they can see that you're tapped into your surroundings and they can also see that um you are you are you are naturally attracted there's nothing that you need to enhance your look okay or to enhance your appearance you are naturally beautiful as shown here with the environment energy. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is it that others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. What do you have, Spirit? And you have here the dragon, supernatural. And this is intriguing because with the dragon card coming out, uh, representing your supernatural abilities here. See, I love this because this is um, 
people can see that you are, you know, you are wise. You are wise for your age and you can shape shift at will, meaning you can change course at will. You are adaptable. You are mutable. And um, people feel like, you know, that you master your destiny, that whatever you decide to do with your life, you will be able to do it because you just have that mastery of mind and attention and a focus here. Thank you, spirit. People do also see that um, you rise with dignity. So you're going to make sure that you look at the whole picture before you react to a situation that could be otherwise harmful or detrimental. You're going to approach things with dignity, with your head held high, and with a sense of, you know, just kindness and tact. Although you may feel like you get anxious sometimes and you may blow your, blow your top and things like that, but those are very rare occasions for you. So people do get this sense of calmness and this sense of groundedness um, from you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you? What do others see in you? Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you? And you have here the Five of Cups. So with the Five of Cups energy, this is water, zodiac signs. This is about your emotions. Thank you, Spirit. Water and emotion energy as seen here with the Five of Cups. So you're looking at Pisces here. Uh, cancer and Scorpio. So people can tell that you're you're sensitive. You're very sensitive. They can um, tell that um, you can be emotional depending on what um, is affecting you at the moment. But also you're very mysterious. So um, you're very like secretive. Like you're not going to tell your entire <laughs> whole family business or your personal business. You're not about that life. You, you just believe that some things are sacred and some things you should keep to yourself. And so also here, I do want to point out that with the, with the um, five of cups energy that people do um, can see that sometimes you do feel, you know, sometimes like alone. You feel alone sometimes. You feel like you know, some people aren't there for you like you are there for them. And so people do pick up that energy. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Daring Dreamer. With the Daring Dreamer, you have the Daring Dreamer because it's about how... Mm -hmm. You know, you're you're able to change the way you see things and not the way that you look. And Spirit gave us that insight moments earlier about your looks and your appearance, how you are just naturally beautiful. People see that your eyes are the window to your soul and that um, whatever you are, you are feeling, it's going to show through your eyes, whatever you are feeling. If you're happy, sad, frustrated, you know, um, whatever, if you just, whatever you're feeling, it's going to come through your eyes. And so also people can see that you have really great potential at your artistic talents, your gifts, um, anything that you do uh, career, career wise, as well as educational, you will put your best foot forward, even though you're hard on yourself, but other people see that you do put your best foot forward and you continue to strive to be that greater version of yourself. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? What do others see in you, but you may not see in yourself? Thank you, Spirit. The moon. You have the moon. And with the moon, this is about your emotions. And I'm excited to see the moon show up here because it's in great correlation here with the five of cups representing those water, emotional, zodiac signs, cancer, 
um, Pisces and Scorpio, but specifically here with the moon card showing up, this does represent Cancer, okay? And so with Cancer, uh, the moon ruling over the zodiac sign of Cancer, I do want to point out this This is really about your um, your feelings, how you are, how you do feel, your emotions, you know, and um, people can tell that sometimes they can tell when you're happy. They can tell when you're um, not feeling good, although you do try to hide it. Um, but they can, uh, you're very emotionally expressive, even though you may feel like you're chill, you're not expressing too much, you're not showing too much. That's how you really want to be. And for the most part, you do operate in that way. But people can see also that you're very nurturing, very warm hearted, very giving um, person. And um, people can also see that you would be a very good parent because the moon does rule over um, the mother. It, it represents the mother. So you would be a very, an excellent parent if you have children. People can see that you're a good parent if you're planning on having children or something significant here with children, working with children. Um, you would be excellent when working with children. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. So what do others see in you that you do not see in yourself? And I want to grab a different deck here just so I can get a mixture of energy. What do others see in you that you don't see in yourself? And you have here Aquarius Innovator. So with Aquarius showing up, um, of course, this could be in the top placements of the birth chart, your birth chart, or specifically in the top placements of the birth chart of the person that does recognize this Aquarius innovation energy within you. So it's just like um, people see that you can create something that could change things in the world, change how things operate in the world. Um um, people see that um, you're you're humanitarian. You're very giving. Your your um your generosity is really stellar. Like it's a, it's it's at the top of your personality traits. Thank you, Spirit. And I do love how Aquarius, the humanitarian, does show up here in correlation with the Six of Pentacles, which does also represent giving and receiving, um, family connections as well. Thank you, Spirit. Also, people can definitely see that you you would be a wonderful person to work with in a group setting, um, a team player. Aquarius is that air zodiac sign energy. Aquarius does rule over the 11th house in an astrological birth chart, and that does represent groups and friends and luck. So people feel like um, they can see that you would work well with the group, like you would be a great BFF because you are loyal, you are dependable. And also here, what I'm picking up that you can be a bit um, disruptive and edgy if need be. Okay, so it's kind of like it's kind of like you have a very beautiful exterior and interior beauty on the outside and the inside. But, you know, things can get a little rough if need be. If you have to, you can go there, but you really don't do that. You try to stay in places where your energy is stable, where your energy is, um, you know, is where there's a re reciprocity of energy, where there's a chill vibe. If you feel like being chill, you try to keep yourself in those areas. And that's really good. So group one, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful good too, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you and in your reading. I will give you clear insight on what do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. 
please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy naturally attracts you here to your card that represents the two of wands. And with the two of wands energy, let me just first point out that that wand energy is that fiery, creative, um, zodiac sign energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in the top placements of your birth chart or the birth chart of the people that do recognize this two of wands energy in you. And that would be the sun, moon, or rising, seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus. What I'll do, what I'm picking up here is that, um, with the two of wands energy, people see in you like you have many options and many facets of your life. So when it comes to your career, like you have options, you can do many things. Um, you feel like that maybe you maybe could do one or two or three things, but other people see like the sky's the limit for you. I feel like also people feel like you could be like a celebrity of some sort, like a, a speaker, an entertainer, a singer, actress, you know, or something like that. I'm also picking up that people feel like you have options here. Like with the two of wands, you see with the two of wands where you could, you are weighing your options when it comes to romantic partners. They really feel like, you know, behind the scenes, you're dating many people in a way like you, you have the choice to date like very wealthy people, or you could date anybody. You, They just feel like you have the options here. You got options, if you know what I'm saying. And so when it comes to relationships and partnerships, business partnerships, they also feel like you are a big influence, like you can influence others. You could be a social media influencer as well. And they, some people look at you and say, well, wow, I wonder why she's not taking advantage of social media. Like she's awesome. So, or, you know, yeah, so you, you're definitely can be a huge influence on social media. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What's happening, spirit? How do others see you? What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Thank you, spirit. As you have here, karmic completion. So with karmic completion, this is high vibration or really good energy here is that people feel like your, your karmic is, um, your karmic cycle is, is like completed here with like, like there's no bad karma for you. Like you radiate at a high frequency, meaning that you, you want the best for people no matter what. Yes, there may be some people that, hey, may have done you wrong or, you know, you just don't agree with who they are. It may have been some betrayal, dishonesty, but you still want the best for these people. So people feel like you must be blessed. You have a good karma um, cycle here that will always complete in your favor where the universe is conspiring for your good. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you? And you have here the dragonfly magic. So what I am picking up here with the dragonfly and magic is um, people feel like, you know, you embrace change. You embrace transformation. Like you enjoy um, growing. You enjoy challenging yourself. You don't mind changing your zip code, your house, whatever it is, whatever it takes for you to transform, to become a better version of yourself. That's what people see in you. And they feel like you courageously will let go of the past. You know, you will put somebody in the past in a heartbeat when it comes to making sure that your mind, your body, and your spirit is in balance, you know, just making sure that things are going in a direction the way that you want to live your life. You, you, you courageously let go of BS and that's really a good thing. And that's something to be very proud of. Also here, this is really about, um, the nature, like there's a magical, um, natural vibe that you give off. You're very down to earth. You're caring, um, you like, you're very chilled and people also see like this brilliance about you. They, they feel like there's some sort of genius quality about you and, and that you are just like super blessed by, um, source energy, by the universe. And this, this brilliance that you have, I feel like you don't see this in yourself, 
because you're very humble. And that's brilliance right there in itself. So you're very humble. So your humility, the way that you will serve humanity with humility is just truly awesome. Thank you, Spirit. So let's get more insight. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Change. I love change showing up. This is immediately, instantly, under the dragonfly magic card. So with you having change laying directly under the message that Spirit just gave us about you embracing transformation, this is phenomenal here. So people see that you've made a big change in your life. You have, you are moving forward. You have like this level up energy that will not stop, will not quit. Um, you're doing really well, although you sometimes look around or you look on so social media and you'll judge yourself based on what you see other people doing. And then Spirit, Spirit is encouraging you to not do that because because you are doing incredibly well from just where you were just even like a year ago, you have advanced like a quantum leap advancement. Because one thing um, that you've done that you don't realize is that you have um, 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 elevated like your emotional quota, your emotional strength, stability, really focusing on your internal you know, spiritual connection um, with yourself and source energy. So people see a huge change in you, even physical changes where the people that you were communicating with, friends, and even some family members that, you know, you may have had friction with or frustration with, you just decided to let certain people and situations and energies go. And people notice that. They, they notice that big time. They're like, wow, um, she changed, but you know, she's not bothering anyone and th there's no one can say that they dislike you, that you did something to them. It, it was before, you know, you were giving a lot of your energy to certain people, you know, always helping people answering the phone and they didn't, they did not necessarily drain you. That's not what took place. It's just, you just decided that you really need to start focusing on your well-being, on your dreams, on your goals. And so you just have to block a few people, even though you do love them and you do send them lots of well wishes. But yeah, people are saying you change, but you know, you're doing what you want to do and that's all that matters. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And I don't know why I um, drew two cards from the same deck, but I did that subconsciously. So we're going to Continue. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do they see, Spirit? Thank you. You have here the sixth house. I love the sixth house showing up because let me point out that there are 12 houses in astrology and an astrological birth chart, but with the sixth house, that is definitely, it rules over the sign of Virgo. And the sixth house does represent the health. It represents your job and daily routines. So what people are picking up, again, this is in correlation and confirmation with the message that Spirit just gave us. Thank you, Spirit, that as far as your work and paying attention to detail and your well-being and your diet and how you're taking care of yourself, people notice that you're taking care of yourself. You're putting yourself as priority as you should be doing Thank you, Spirit. Your daily rituals are really on fleek. And so, and you're, you're a great contribution to, to your community, to society in a whole, just with your energy. And you don't realize that. You don't realize that just your energy, just your kindness, your warm nature, your thoughts of compassion and forgiveness that you do have for people and for yourself holds a high vibrational frequency and it goes out into the universe and it heals it liberates others so thank you spirit for that message here yeah so there's a method to what you do do people are definitely seeing and that you are looking um really good and you and it all relates to how you are thinking because those thoughts are turning into how you feel and that feeling is turning into 
allowing you to make certain actions to create certain outcomes as it does regard to your health and your appearance. And so you're looking a lot younger lately. Although you may feel like you feel stressed, you look this way, you look that way. No, you are extremely gorgeous, naturally beautiful. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How do others see you, but you don't see in yourself? What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Thank you, Spirit. You have here, Tribe of the Kindred. So with Tribe of the Kindred, and Spirit just gave us this message. It is so phenomenal because I just got that message of saying how you care about people, even like your enemies. And no, you're not going to call your enemies and be like, hey, let's take a trip. Let's go. No, no, no. You you have a high discernment. So that's not what you're going to do. But when you think about people who, you know, may, you may have some like some sort of discord with, you send these people love. You really do. You really want the best for everybody. So with Tribe of the Kindred Spirit, that is really what this is about. I carry your heart. I carry it in mind. You truly care about what is happening you know, with people that you love, society in general, the world. You have a heart of gold, very generous, very warm, very loving, understanding. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Page of Swords. So this is about how you communicate. It's about your intellect, your mind. Thank you, Spirit. So with the Page of Swords showing up here, I love this card showing up for you. Swords energy does represent those air zodiac signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. In the top placements of the birth chart that I did mention earlier, the sun, moon, or rising, seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus. Um, your birth chart or the birth chart of the people that do recognize this page of swords energy within you. And specifically here with the page of swords, I do want to point out that people really feel like you, like, like you have a spirit of like a curious kid. Like so many things are, in, are, are interesting to you. Um, you're interested in, in adventure, exploration, charting new paths. You are just... You know, you don't mind taking chances, starting things over, just living from the resonance of like your inner child, that spirit of freedom. And other people do recognize this in you. Also, uh, the page of swords energy is also like, um, it's like, it's about you telling the truth because you, you, you usually try to keep it really cool with kindness and tact um and but it, it's the truth what you say you know like you know maybe someone will call you and they say well hey um you know i'm i'm you know just for example i'm um i haven't been outside in like two weeks you know, I've just been sitting here playing video games. And you'll say, hey, you know, you need to get outside. You really need to get fresh air. You need to walk. Why are you sitting on your bum? And you know you should be up. You should be out. You should be out. And they're like, I know. And I can't stand it. You're telling the truth, though. You're telling the truth. So that's really how you are. You really care a lot. And so that's something to really be commended. And that's something to really honor yourself for. So good, too. These are things that other people do see in you, but you may not see in yourself. Please take one moment to leave a comment below if this reading does inspire you or resonate with you, because I do love to read your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss 
an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, you're naturally attracted here to your card that represents the Four of Cups. This is about your emotions and what people, how people feel about, you know, the way, like the way that you think and the way that you handle your emotions. I also want to point out that the Four of Cups does represent those water zodiac signs, Pisces, um, Scorpio and Cancer in the Sun, Moon, or Rising, Seventh House of Relationships, or the Planet Venus in the top placements of your birth chart or the birth chart of the people that do recognize this Four of Cups energy about you. This is like, sometimes people feel like, people sense that you are feeling like just um, fulfilled with certain things with what you're doing because you put a lot of weight on yourself. You put a lot of pressure on yourself to do certain things, to get things done and to just be on time with having things done. And I just want to encourage you, Spirit is encouraging you right now to take it easy, to relax, because that's the energy that I'm picking up from you, is that you're very critical of yourself. And so sometimes people do pick up that you are not satisfied with what you're doing. It's just an unfulfilled um, energy. And it's not a bad energy. It's just that you're aggressive. You're a go-getter. You, you want to be you know, great. And Spirit is encouraging you to know that you are already great. And in order to just really accomplish the dreams that you want to accomplish, it's just a matter of lining up with those aspirations, believing in things, and just really taking the relaxed route of creation. So that just simply means that while you're taking action, just be chilled and don't worry about the outcome, the who, what, when, where, or how it's going to take place because it will take place. So yes, thank you, Spirit. People also pick up that um, you um, you <laughs> you are like unbothered. Like although you you try to play it off, like you hey, like you're interested. Hi, you know what's going on with you and what are you doing? But people do sense that sometimes you are just like not for it, not for the small talk, you know, you're, you're feeling like unbothered, but it's mainly because you do have a lot going on emotionally and on your mind. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. How do others, what do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Thank you, spirit. You have your creativity. I love creativity showing up. And because this is a nice correlation and confirmation with the energy just spirit just gave us moments earlier, how you are creative, you are enough, you are doing just fine. Don't compare yourself with others. You tend to have, um, you know, you tend to compare yourself with others and how fast others are doing things and how others are doing this and doing that. And spirit is encouraging you not to do that. Because the the um, the act of comparison is the thief of all joy. So you're very creative. People see you as being very passionate. You have you know um, gifts and talents in in so many areas. You know cooking, even the arts, um, as well as just like speaking and communication as well. So you're very creative. Thank you, Spirit. What do others? Seeing you, but you don't see in yourself. You have the moon card showing up. And this is nice because this is the four of cups. And the four of cups is that um, water sign energy. And with the moon, the moon does rule over the zodiac sign of cancer. And cancer, of course, is a part of the cup energy. So that's a nice confirmation. Thank you, spirit. I do also want to point out that people feel like you're very nurturing and you are very giving. And sometimes you can appear like you know, aloof and distant, but that's because you're always dreaming. You have big dreams and you have goals. And so sometimes people think that um, you're distant and sometimes they do may take it personal, but don't worry about that because you have the right 
to feel the way that you want to feel. And specifically here with the moon, the moon does rule over, again, that zodiac sign of cancer. And um, cancer is, is that nurturing energy, very sensitive. So people do pick up that you're sensitive, although you do try to stand firm and hold your ground and things like that. So that's a nice confirmation. The moon also does rule over the mother. So people can... Um, see that you um, have great parenting skills. If you don't have children, that you would have great parenting skills or even just working with children. There's something very significant here with the mother as it does relate um, to your energy. Thank you, spirit. So let's get more insight. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Thank you, spirit. And you have here brave and true spirit warrior. So with brave and true, be brave and true. Yes. So sometimes you feel like you're not doing enough. You're not moving fast enough. You should be doing this and you should be going there and you should be connecting here and there. Others feel like you are a warrior. Other people feel like you're very courageous. Like some people are like, I don't know how... She does this, but I, I couldn't do it. Just little things. They feel like little things to you are big things to other people. And that's how they perceive you. To just be like this great spirit warrior. You know, having having just this unconditional love. You know, a, a strong sense of self-love, self-assurance, as well as self-respect. And, and of course, courage. So let's get more specifics and insights. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the third house, perception. So with the third house showing up, I do want to point out that you are number three. So with the third house showing up, that is considered a synchronicity here in the tarot reading. So three, three. So at the end of your reading, there's a clear message also for your spirit guys, as it does relate to the number three, three. So make sure, actually you have three, 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 because you have creativity with the number three here. And you are group three, you are group three, and then you have the third house perception. So this is phenomenal here because um, that is a synchronicity of three, three, three. So at the end of the reading, make sure that you look up the message that draws you calmly to it and take that message from your spirit guides as it does relate to um, something that you do resonate with. With. But specifically here with the third house, the third house does rule over the zodiac sign of Gemini. And Gemini um, is about, that third house represents communication and siblings. So people feel like you're an awesome communicator, that you have a gift and talent in communicating. And it could even be writing, or verbal communication, um, just communicating your voice the way that you communicate um, what, your needs, your wants, your desires are very um, special. And people, your thoughts. Also, um, I'm picking up your sociability. Sociability. People want to be around you. They want to know more about you. They're very curious about who you are. What is it that you do? But they're afraid to... Um, not afraid in a fearful way, but they're like, they, you have just a natural boundaries up. And, and that comes from your great self-respect and self-love that people are like, uh, I'm not sure if I should ask for her number because they feel like you, you do like to be in solitude and be quiet a lot and you don't like to communicate a lot, but you do like to communicate. You just like to talk about things that interest you. And, and not too much small talk. You really like to talk about things that are like mysterious, religion, the occult, like astrology and, you know, um, your career. And you like to talk about other people's ideas, their dreams, their goals. And so that's why 
you know, there is a certain specific people type of person that is drawn to you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And don't forget the 333 synchronicity number at the end of your reading. What stands out, and I already used that card deck, so let's use this one. What stands out about you to others? What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? I did it from here. Spiritual partnership. I just got that message from spirit. When spirit just gave us the message on how you like to talk about spirituality, the unseen, the, the occult. This is amazing. Thank you, spirit. So a spiritual partnership, like people really see, and this is the same card deck. That's interesting that I did choose from that card deck as well, and I didn't intend to. And I'm so glad that Spirit did allow me to grab that deck because we just got the message of your spiritual energy in nature and how others do see that you're very aligned with source energy very tapped into the universe, and you have a very strong high propensity for manifesting. So I do want to give you a clear message from Spirit here is that make sure that you do focus on things that you do want most of the time. And I know um, there are different things that could come in your mind that you don't want. Just gently push those aside and focus on things that feel good to you, outcomes that you want to happen because your manifestation um, um, energy is, is very strong. You can manifest very easily, very easily. And so this is wonderful. And it's also related to your emotions and how you feel. So make sure that you are always tapped into that good feeling vibe because, and that's really all you have to do is make sure that you are giving your attention to things, people, places, events, you know, even thoughts that make you feel good. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to be specific and trying to figure out how are things going to work out? How am I going to do this? How am I going to... You don't have to do that because you are tapped in. You're really tapped in. And other people see this in you as well. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you? But you don't see in yourself. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Five of Swords. So with the Five of Swords energy, let me do point out that um, the Five of Swords energy is air sign energy. And I see it's in correlation with the third house, representing that Gemini air energy that did show up earlier here in your reading. But specifically here with the Five of Swords energy, um, this is really about like a relationship. Like you do not like drama. You do not want to get in a relationship that's drama filled with, you know, dishonesty, theft, bullying, violence, or even like just BS, just BS. Let's just tell you what BS. You don't want to be in that type of relationship. And people sense that about you. They know that about you. They feel like, uh, you are sensitive to that topic, like you may have been in a relationship that did have those things going on, and it's just not about that life right now. You're about, you know, the glow up, you know, the moving forward and really connecting with someone of a deep partnership nature, that lover energy, someone that has that reciprocity energy of appreciation and affection and loyalty, love. And so this is what people do see in you but you may not see in yourself. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.